Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I'm bringing you Monk Monday number 99. Thank you so much for anyone who watches this. For those of you who don't know what that is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it or review it. I try my best to give some input into the matches that you send. You can send me as much gameplay as you want. doesn't matter to me. I've done over hour, one hour reviews, so feel free to send any MMR, PvP, PvE, Mistweaver, Windwalker. It doesn't matter. It, no one's going to make fun of you. I, the best way to learn is to actually watch your gameplay back, I promise. And today we have Pico T, uh, who says that they've been watching videos for quite a while. I uh, really enjoyed Monk Monday videos because I found them to be one of the best forms I learned from. Me too. Uh, watching is by far one of the best ways to learn, especially if it's your own gameplay. Uh, currently stuck at 1750, and this is my second season trying to push in arenas. That's awesome, because it took me like three, four seasons to get to 1750. Uh, second season, I'm playing Mistweaver. Last season, I managed to get Duelist, but now I feel like it's really hard. It is really hard. Rating is super deflated right now. Um, I wish to submit some games to you. One win and one loss. All right. Uh, on the game we went, I messed up the opener. I feel like we should just uh, general breakthrough of the game. On the loss, I got feedback from a word that I missed out on two times where I could have kept the rogue in combat. I reviewed the games myself, but can only find one time where I messed that up. And allowed the road Greek style that and also the general flow of the game, which would be nice to be reviewed. Would be awesome. Have a good Easter and pick a tea. Uh, thank you so much. I hope everyone had a great Easter. And yes, I will be more than happy to see if there's any way you can keep a rogue in combat. I'm assuming it's probably a rogue mage. Oh, Asarog. Uh Versus Asarogs, it's actually not that important to get resells to stop resells. Um, it's sub rogues that you want to get the resells because they're the ones that can get the cheap shots into an annoying saps and stuff like that. So um, we have uh, Havoc Demon on our Holy Priest, which this is probably one of the hardest comps you could face right now uh, as a Mistweaver because the Demon Hunter can just cut you or not cut you, can just run you into the ground. You can't really cut him and Holy Priest just have really good mana and your warrior will kind of struggle to hit either one. Uh, the kill target is probably going to be the Holy Priest. Yeah, I think the kill target's Holy Priest. Uh, it's much easier to kill them than a Necro demon hunter and you're playing song of chi which is good we're playing we're necro lord which is great that's fine and uh yeah no we're looking we're looking good right now so let's see let's see what we do so we put our put our port down perfect and we got a statue we're human so probably playing rally trinket especially versus this priest is pushing in hot good in cap uh that's chastise on you this is okay so we're playing with a fury warrior uh that's Oh, we're not playing rally, okay. And we do cocoon there before the fear, which is nice because uh, our warrior didn't have to use their heal. I don't see it. Maybe it's down by now, but we're bursting, which is good. And I like the cleave here, by the way. I think this. Oh, don't put. Oh, oh lord. Oh, see, this is why you don't ever. You never really want to push in versus demon hunters, at least when they have chaos nova. Um, they do. They don't have the fell eruption stun, but ideally, you really don't want to. Try to push in for a leg sweep when the Chaos Nova, because then you both get double stunned, and it's really, really just awkward. Uh, thankfully, your warrior was blade storming, so that's good. But and we do get GS there, which is nice too. But we only get a single leg sweep there. Maybe follow that up with maybe an ink cap if we have it. I don't know. It, maybe if you're playing the lingering numbness uh, conduit, it'll slow the demon hunter. It will slow him down a little bit at least. But I think this strategy is going to work for you guys because. If the demon hunter isn't hitting you, your warrior could just cleave both these targets, and it feels really good. Um, Bone Dust Brew as well. So we're doing fine right now. I don't see any problems. Uh, I would maybe reset your port. You're moving around a lot on the map. I think our port is behind this pillar. So just know if they try to swap to you like back here, uh, where right here, uh, and you get stunned, you actually can't port out of it. So as you move around the map, try to move your statue on your port. I know it's like really annoying, and sometimes the globals are really hard to do, but just try to find a time. Revival that uh, mind games, which is fine. And uh, I mean, we're doing a nice in cap on that too. I think we do. Oh, Night Fae Warrior. That's a that's a first. I have not seen a Night Fae Warrior in a minute. But we're looking good. They have chastised really soon, but I'm pretty sure DR is with that in cap, so it's not going to be full. They're going to have to wait the full DR. Maybe disarm on. Nope, nope. Meta's still up. We're doing good. Good job resetting your statue. Still, Are we in range of port? I just want to make sure. I think we are. I don't think we are right now, but we should be soon. We, uh, we get feared, which should be okay because we have hots up on your warrior. Reflect from your warrior. I, I think this is fine. Disarm on the meta is perfect. Uh, so far, so good. I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, but we are kind of swapping off the priest right now and you have song perfect this, this is why song is so good in demon hunters like it's so good if you double leg sweep oh this should be kill this is a hundred percent kill yeah oh holy priests are just insane aren't they they're just insane uh oh no we got him okay hell yeah 
Uh, this game is perfect. I truly, I don't know. I didn't see anything wrong with this game at all. The reason why Song of Chi again, that's the reason why Song of Chi is so good. If they commit to you, you can just use the Song of Chi to help heal for yourself. If they don't go you, you can just use it on the healer. Well done. Uh, actually, very, very well done. Um, so we have a Holy Priest. A Holy Priest. Holy Pally Assassination Rogue. So, uh, <clears throat> this, I don't know. When I queue into this, I feel like we should win. Um, Acid Rogues do a lot of damage. You want to look out for Vendetta and Sepsis. Those are the two things you want to look out for, um, especially if they're running the two and four sets. It's very, very scary if you're in CC and the Rogue can get the Sepsis because... I expect it, it, they're Night Fae. Yeah, they have to be Night Fae. Um, but it's a huge uh, bleed that you can, you can dispel it. Bleed, uh, dispel, I don't know, magic. I, either way, you can dispel it. It's like a little blue icon. And that's the only time it's really scary versus Astro Rogues. Run Disarm. Song of Chiji, I see that you're running it. I think it's really good uh, because Astro Rogues don't really have... I don't know. You can just port kidney shots, right? So it's it doesn't feel as scary as like Sub Rogues. I'm more afraid of Sub Rogues than Astro Rogues, to be honest. Uh, mostly because... Sub rogues have a lot of stuns. I feel like they have a lot more stuns. So if we're running disarm, it's good. Get a port down, which is perfect. Uh, statue down, and then <clears throat> as you're waiting for stealth, actually, you know what I would do if I if I were this is what normally versus rogues. What I try to do is I don't use fleshcraft in the starting room, and I do it like right when I put my statue down or my port down because I know they're trying to go for a sap. So it gives me a few extra seconds for my teammates to get in combat to stop sap. Obviously, it's not that important because. Um, you're playing with a warrior, but still, uh, they could open you because your port is a little bit close, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, there's this is the icon right here, right here. Uh, this is sepsis. It's they didn't use it with vendetta, so that's kind of good, but it's still gonna do it's this blue icon right here. This one right here. Um, they didn't use it with vendetta, which is fine, uh, but it's still like really scary because yeah, I would dispel it instantly. Uh, it'll chunk it's really you can't it's hardly you can hardly heal through it. But that's one bop there from the pally. Which is good. Maybe try to be aggressive. Also, devotion, devotion war as well. So I don't know. This is a. Uh, they used a lot of stuff there. Like a lot, a lot of stuff. I would go for in-cap songs. Beautiful. Go for a song. Perfect. Probably can't step it. That's vanish as well. Keep that in mind. We break our song, but I think your warrior is going to swap to him anyway. Keep in mind that the rogue is actually right here. Um, is that the rogue just used vanish defensively? So when you get blinded. This isn't a sub rogue. This is an ass rogue. He's not going to be able to get a sap off the blind. So keep that in mind. If you get blinded, also positioning wise, it's a little bit weird because we are stacked on our port. They could try to kill you. So just keep that in mind. You don't have trinket as well. I'm surprised they're not trying to kill you because I think they could. They still haven't. Yeah. I think they could have killed you if they vendetta like sepsis you. But I think this rogue is really impatient with it. <clears throat> Might be playing rep. No. Okay, that's good. Cocoon there on the Vendetta is fine. Uh, normally, you want to save Disarm. Right here is Disarm. Uh, just Disarm the rest of Vendetta. It's really the best time to use it. Um, we're still really surprised that uh, the Rogue didn't use Sepsis for that. Or didn't wait for it. At least Incap here in the song is nice. Yep, beautiful. Perfect. Awesome. Really good song. Uh, the only thing <clears throat> that's a defensive blind. The only thing that I want to note is... Um, I don't know if you're tracking it. I would... I, I just started recently tracking it. Track your warrior's storm bolt and line up your in caps with the storm bolt. It's really, really important to do that because if you don't, you have these awkward goes where you don't have a stun on the kill target. It's not just rogue teams, it's versus every team. You have this awkward like go where you have CC on the pally, but the, you see the DPS is able to kite. Obviously, you spawn on your warrior, but um, <clears throat> you as a misweaver, you don't really dictate when your team goes, your warrior does, or your teammates do. So, save your in cap and song. For when your warrior, whoever you're playing with, gets a stun on the kill target. That's very important. Because um, this is a really good in-cap song. Like, it's really good. But there's no stun on the rogue. So, obviously, they're not in any danger. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> good fleshcraft there. Uh, I don't know if I got the hodge, but still really good. Uh, and I would say Fury Warriors are just trying to pump through. Good job resetting your port. I think our statue is still in the middle of the arena, which is perfect. And good job keeping Mystic Touch up. So, this is a step onto you. I, I have a feeling they're going to try to kill you because you don't have... You don't have blind or you don't have trinket. There is so that was sepsis. I think we I think we actually um dispelled it, which is good. Uh but yeah, so far so good. Oh no, there it is. You want to dispel yes, perfect, beautiful. You know what you're doing. That's great. Uh there's Kenny on you. Again, this is awkward. I would pour it maybe towards the end. Yeah, you don't even need to like stay there. I would probably pour it like after the stun though. You normally, if you could sit a stun, sit the sun, but I'll normally pour as soon as uh, as soon as I can because I, you don't want to stick around to get hit by a rogue. Uh, you can in cap the rogue if you want to. 
Okay, nice leg sweep. Maybe a little, little. We don't have resonator for it. I would be very scared right now because we're, we're really out of range of our port and we don't have the globals right now to really put out a new one. There it is. Nice. We got a proc there as well. Throw a little heal on you. All right, perfect. Awesome. Uh, fear from your warrior is really good too. Try to follow that up. Do you have in cap? Do you have in cap? No, you don't. Okay. Normally, when you see a fear, try to just follow it up with something. Uh, but I don't think we have anything for it. So it's fine it's fine it was a good fear uh go for a disarm on this kidney shot would be probably good right you see the pilot paddy coming in. oh we already disarmed all right um <clears throat> this is fine full full hodge on you uh your warrior doesn't really have much of anything it's also vendetta disarm from the rogue as well nice cocoon there good wings from the paddy nice in cap as well really really solid so you're pretty much just negating the entire go it's i don't know maybe the I don't know why the rogue is uh, staggering the sepsis there with vendetta. It's kind of weird. I think maybe they don't have two set. Maybe the rogue doesn't have two set, uh, which makes their bleeds like hit really hard with vendetta or four set. One of them. Um, <clears throat> really good though. Uh, renewing mist here, probably on your warrior. I would throw a renewing mist. Nice, we got a proc there as well. Big healing silence on you. Uh, we're doing pretty good. We have revival too if we need it. I would be very careful about pushing it. I would be very careful about like running onto the rogue because. This lets the pally like hodge you for free without having to use mobility. And then the rogue can also kick you. So just be careful. Um, it doesn't look, it looks like the rogue still has kick. And if you don't have shadow step, oh, nice juke on it. Oh, I like that juke. That was good. That was a good one right there. Um, no, we're doing really good. We're doing really good. Make sure you put renewing mist on yourself as well. In cap on the rogue. I do, mm, do few warriors have bleeds? Cause if so, I would be a little bit careful about in capping uh, the kill target because uh, then I think they lose a lot of damage. <clears throat> but I don't actually know if they do or not. I know Orange Warriors used to friend. So we're Hodge here, Revival, Vendetta. I, I, the Vendetta is really late. We're not in CC anymore. It was after the blind, so that's amazing. Really good for us. <clears throat> we're doing pretty good. We're doing. I mean, I would say there's... I don't see any time where you could stop restelts. I, I really don't. Um, disarm there is... A, see, the Disarm, so... Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty. It's on a kidney shot. That's fine. Yeah, good Good. Uh, Disarm there. Uh, going for a song here. Um... I don't know if we have any stunts on the rogue, but he's going to get song, so that's fine with us, right? <clears throat> this is also our burst damage. This is uh, Avatar. DR Fear. This is something I run into problems with my warrior as well, is that uh, my warrior sometimes fear, or like doesn't realize that like Song of Chi-Gi DRs with fear. So just let your warrior know that Song of chi and fear DR with each other. So it was probably best to... It would have been a good fear if there was no DR, but you DR. <laughs> you <clears throat> DR the, uh, <laughs> the song. Good song nice in cap for hodge and smoke bomb beautiful uh warrior leaps out which is great <clears throat> i think so far be careful stacking up in cap and we in cap into sack here uh the sack breaks it i maybe you know that but the sack makes the pallet take damage so it, i think you just in at the same time so it's not that big a deal uh i think we're out of range of our port so we probably want to get in range in case they start trying to. We're keeping the pally in combat. This is honestly, it's our win condition. Sending Kevin on him. Love to see it. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's uh, maybe Hodge. No, I don't think he has Hodge. Nice disarm on the rest of the kidney. Uh, make sure you put Renewing Mist on you and your warrior, though. Like, as you're trying to run away. Yeah, yeah, put. Yep, perfect. Great. Awesome. That was Aegis from your warrior. <clears throat> Stopping a lot of damage. And we get kicked, which is fine. We in cap. We can leg sweep into song here, probably. Give you a little leg sweep. Oh, looking for a double. Nice double. Resonator on the rogue. Uh, bubble from the pally, which is great. And bop. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, bop doesn't actually stop resonator trigger, which is nice. Um, and we got the save by the light thing. So, that's fine. We got the little bubble thing and or the shield. And pally needs to drink soon. So, I would stay kind of close to the pally-ish. Uh, maybe after Hodge. We get step kicked. Or maybe a little touch of death. All right, that's vanished from the rogue again. Again, keep this in mind. Your warrior gets blinded here. I would stay in combat with the pally. The, your pally, your warrior, nice in cap here into song. Make sure you stay in combat because rogues can get those sneaky stealths and then sap you if, if you're out of combat and you're healing the blinded target. <clears throat> but we're doing pretty good. Again, we get the CC chain, which is, it's, re it's a really nice CC chain. It's really good. But I don't know if we get a stun on the rogue. Like we get the in cap, but I don't think we have a, do we have a storm bolt? No. So I would just wait until you see a stun on the rogue because I think we get it towards the end here. Nice fear again. It's half on the pally. It just happened. I mean, it happens. It, it you know, nothing we can do about it. Uh, disarm on the rogue there. A little bit late on the kidney, but I, it's still stopping damage. That's third freaking. I bops are freaking insane versus warriors. Man, it's crazy. Um, 
it looks like yeah i would probably try to stop the pally from drinking which is good make sure you stay in combat if the rogue goes for a restealth or something but we keep the pally in combat which is great that's a dr kidney shot on your warrior which is honestly ideal and then this french regeneration and your boy's trying to kite um i would probably uh, one thing i would recommend is if you have disarm and you see that vendetta is coming up kind of soonish try to save disarm for vendetta uh, i know it's good to, to disarm like every kidney shot or, or as much as you can but if the, if vendetta is coming up in like 20 seconds hold your disarm uh as long as you can um but yeah we're starting to fall behind but we have life cocoon if we have bone dust brew now is also a good time to do it we get kicked again i would track it's a, i would track shadow step uh right down here um kick tracking kick is fine but it's actually it's kind of useless if you stay far away from a rogue unless you're tracking shadow step because if you're far away from a rogue at least then you can you can know if he can shadow step kick you or not because if he has kick but no shadow step he can't actually kick you so and you're far away keep that in mind uh can you shot here we have disarm in three seconds and we'll probably use it we get a nice leg sweep there song of chiji from downtown no it doesn't hit oh he sacks it oh sack isn't breaking it because we're not hitting him that's interesting okay nice <laughs> but the rogue did trigger that stun which is really good for you guys uh that steps us uh tried to start uh dispel it just tried to dispel this asap you could see how it just chunks you it chunks your teammate down that's because it's like uh it just chunks you down um we don't have disarm we get hodge we trink it we get a we, nice we get like two procs there which is really good no no don't no run in yes run in yeah no no don't let them get a restealth here we send the resonator no a push in i would absolutely push in oh man that's i don't know why your warrior didn't push in honestly i don't oh he has poisons maybe i would push in probably i would put a port here and probably push in because the rogue is going to get a restart the pally's um so you just need to keep hit you need to hit something and the rogue just wasted faint there too uh you might get sapped here be very careful i like the song of gg i like that play but you might get sapped be very careful okay nice you need to hit something uh, this latent dampening. Oh, I think we disarmed the holy pally there. Uh, this latent dampening, eight minutes into the game or six minutes into the game, at the pally's oom. Um, uh, it just hits something, anything. Make the pally heal. We did trink it previously, so it kind of sucks, but we can't get a full. Mm, nice. We have fear off this, and we get sapped. Yeah. Yep, that is probably a nice fear, but it might. No? No, you should be able to stay alive. Nice revival. Yep, we have disarm as well. Nice. Wait, what? Oh, no. How did the rogue just get a restealth? Oh, no. You need to stay. Make sure you're staying in combat. Make sure you're staying in combat with a nice Yulon here as well. <clears throat> Try to stay in combat. Uh, so you don't get sapped. We have sapped DR. I guess we have sapped DR uh, in three minutes. Or three minutes. Um, Ten seconds. Uh, Pally is drinking. I would not have your warrior leap in like this. I would have you leap in. And then, unless you're trying to go for a kill on him. Because the rogue might get another restealth here. Nice leg sweep. Yeah, he gets another restealth. Um, yeah, you, you Pally got a drink too. It really sucks. Uh, if the rogue is looking for restealth, just hit the Pally. I think now I know. Now I see what you mean. Uh, Song of Chiji is kind of we're starting. We're starting to hit the. We're starting to go sideways here because uh, the, the songs will. The Pally has no trinket, right? The Pally has no trinket, so you just need a stun on the rogue and an in-cap song on the Pally, and you'll get a ton of pressure. None of them have trinkets. Rogue has trinket now. Um, it seems like. They're like dictating the pace of the game, so uh, we'll see. We have Blade Storm, which sh should be a pretty good, yeah, it's a good amount of damage here. Again, in cap here, we don't have Song. See, now would be I probably could have gotten a kill here if we had Song of Chi Chi, uh, but we don't, which uh, is really unfortunate. Uh, I, I trust me, I get, I get it when you're trying to be like when you're being impatient with um, that disarm there. Oh no, we didn't disarm. Um, I think it was a proc. Nice disarm here. Sack from the pally. Um, when you're trying to be impatient when it comes to like getting a song with Chigi, I get it, but I would probably stop this rogue from getting a restealth. Kevin's sick and that, Kevin's actually on him, so it doesn't matter. Um, and we get sapped. Yep. That's why you always if the rogue's looking for a restealth, hit the pally because you don't want to get uh, like annoyingly sapped or um, fall behind. It's really annoying. You try to dispel the sepsis. He has it. Yeah, I would try to. Resonator on the rogue. Let's see. <laughs> Decent, but we have no training for this blind and we die. I actually, I think this game was played fine. I think this game was played like perfectly fine. But what it came down to was uh, the lack, the like coordinated goes. And it's really important as a misweaver because all we have is like some CC. 
We have a lot of healing, but we only have some CC. And so this song right here, I think we try to send it downtown on him. And he, I think he dodges it. I would hope he does. Yeah, the pally dodges it. I would have been a little bit more patient. And right here, the game was the game was actually over. Um, we had an cap. If you had Song of Chi-Chi for the pally, the rogue was dead. Um, also, try to coordinate your goes just a little bit more is the biggest thing. The first game, you guys played it fine because the warrior was the one like doing. You couldn't see see anything, right? Because the warrior was the one being hit and hitting the healer. But when the your when your teammates trying to hit the DPS, you really really want to wait until your warrior storm bolts something um, or it, it stuns anything or can actually commit and like slow something and have uptime on a, a target, especially versus like a rogue or a windwalker or a demon hunter. Uh, because when you in-cap song and then the rogue is just able to run away or blind or something because they're not stunned, it kind of wastes the go. But this game was played fine. Like, you played perfectly fine. You reset your port when you had to. You kited. You disarmed when you had to. Try to dispel the sepsis a little more, but that's not really something. I mean, Astro Rogues are kind of newish and, you know, uh, not really newish, but they're Night Fae now. So I, it's something new to keep in mind. But overall, the game was played fine. You guys played fine. I don't know why your heart's like 1750. I really don't. I think uh, you guys play perfectly fine. Fury Warriors and Sane Mist Weavers are really good healers for it. Just one biggest tip here is just make sure you coordinate the goes when your warrior has uptime or doing their burst damage, anything like that. That's when you go for CC and hold on to it as long as you can. Don't try to waste it because CC and healing is pretty much all we got. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Anyone watching, I hope this was helpful. And that's pretty much it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you later.